Oh, what nerdigans? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89, and today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Haikyuu chapter 249. And last chapter was basically like uh, our um, warm up chapter, so to speak. But oh my god, the shade! The shade that was being thrown! <laughs> that cha last chapter was fucking hilarious. Now, we are at the second match, we're at the second round. Finally, we are here. We've been waiting forever for this. We're finally here. Let's get to this chapter. So it's a spear. Formal one. Uh, formal warm up. The second match begins. Oh man, nice kill, Eve. Last one. Um, the out of body experience. Um, time difference attack. If it's twins, then it's gotta be. Oh my god. <laughs> um, and this chapter is called Cacophony and Silence. This is going to be a battle between the setters, though, for real. I I've said it a couple weeks ago um, when we found out who our opponent was. Yeah, this is this is going to be Kageyama's revenge. Uh, 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 this isn't now. Uh, that isn't now. Um, sorry, that isn't how a time different attack works. Maybe he just wanted to call it that. Whoa, awesome. Nice, Mia. Aha. Was it their setter who spiked just now? Sure, he's strong, but nothing out of the ordinary. Whoa, isn't the guy who did the toss kind of amazing, though? Pam, hey. Oh, hey. Uh, squeak, squeak. <laughs> I kind of love that they're wearing the orange uniforms. Especially Hinata, because Hinata's hair is, like, orange already. <laughs> just makes me think of what um, Kagayama said last chapter about looking like a mandarin orange. Anyway, nice kill. He can hit for um, he can get pretty high up there, huh? That last jump felt pretty great, but I still feel like it's a little bit off. All right, one more serve. I. Oh, here it is. We've got the scoreboard at Sid at zero. Karasano and Inarizaki. Oh my God. Finally here. We're finally here. It feels like forever. It felt it has totally felt like forever since we got to actually see Karasano play. So I'm really happy. Spring Inner High Volleyball National Tournament Round Two. Let's have a good game. Uh, Hyogo uh, Prefecture representative in um, Inarazaki High School, third year in a row, thirty first time overall. Versus Miyagi uh, Prefecture representative Karasano High School. First time in five years, ninth time overall. So we got the underdogs here. <laughs> we are the underdogs. And of course, there's a slap. All right. Focus. We got to focus here. Damn it. Why am I the one freaking out? Calm down. Calm down now. No one expected Karasano to win against um, Shiratorizawa, which is true. Get out there and surprise everyone again. Here's our cork. We have a black guy. Like, I've noticed this a lot in manga, especially um, since I finished binge reading my Naruto manga yesterday. Or, yeah, yesterday. I was like thinking to myself, damn, I'm starting to see a lot more black people in manga. And we're seeing them in Boruto as well. And I'm just like thinking, damn, now Haikyuu has a black kid. <laughs> Um, court captain, third year, um, uh, W.S. Or, uh, Ojiro, and then we got the second year, uh, and he's 184 centimeters, of course he's fucking tall, and then we have second year, um, wings, uh, the W.S. obviously means wing spiker, uh, second year wing spiker, um, Gen, uh, Gen, wait, Genjima, there we go, Genjima, 180 centimeters, yeah, and then we got our team captain, uh, third year, wing spiker, Sawamura, yeah, 176 centimeters. And we got the third year wing spiker and our ace, um, Azumane. Yeah. <laughs> he looks like, Azumane looks like a badass, man. <laughs> he does. And Sawamura is just like, he's just like, I'm just ready to fucking do this. Let's just do this already. I'm tired of this shit. <laughs> um, Azumane is 186 centimeters. And then... Here's our starting order for in uh, Zariaki. We got second year wing sp spiker uh, Mia Osamu, who was 183 centimeters. Second year center 
uh, Mia uh, Atsumu, uh, 183 centimeters. Second year, um, uh, middle blocker, Suna, 185 centimeters. Uh, third year middle blocker, Umimi. God, he was awesome, Umimi. I don't know why, it just is. I like it. 190. Damn, he's fucking tall. He's 191 centimeters. And then we got our um, third year, um, um, our third year Libro, uh, Akagi, who's 174 centimeters. Now, the starting order for Karasano, of course. Uh, second year wing spiker Tanaka, who my boy is starting to get some luck with the ladies. Yes, he is. Uh, first year setter Kagayama, 181 centimeters, and uh, Tanaka is 178 centimeters. Uh, first year middle blocker Hinata. There's my gin. There's my or I almost said ginger. <laughs> he doesn't have red hair. He has orange hair. But there he is. There's my cutie pie looking like a mandarin orange. <laughs> I'm just not gonna forget that shit from Kageyama. I love Kageyama can be such an ass, but like he's funny. And then we got first year middle blocker Tsukushima. Of course, 190 centimeters. Not a again, just in case you missed it. 106. If I didn't say it, 164 centimeters. And then our second year Libro, of course, my other my other baby, Nishinoya, uh, 160 uh, centimeters. And for those of you that forgot why Nishinoya is wearing a different uh, uniform compared to the rest of the team. It's because the Libros are supposed to do that. So there you go. Ooh. So Kaka, it's going to be interesting because it looks like Kageyama. So how it looks like on here, I'm going into detail on this, is that in the front on, um, um, in Zaraki's, um, in Zariaki's side is, uh, like at the net, you have Genjima, Suna, um, and Mia, uh, Osamu, and then you have, um, Ojiro, um, Umimi, Akagi, um, and then, uh, Mia Atsumi. And then for our side, we have Kageyama in the front, as well as Tsukushima and Azumane. I'm fine, Tsukushima should be in the front. Keep him there. It, uh, it sucks when he has to rotate and go with back, because he's our blocker. Starting him in the front is a good idea. Um, it's going to be interesting because Hinata's in the back. He's like in the middle back. So he's going to have to like run and jump. It, it's going to be interesting to see the strategy. And then um, uh, we have Ta Tanaka, Hinata, and Sawamura in the back. And of course Nishinoya is, um, is pro more than likely going to replace Hinata at some point. Uh, we'll see when. Mia Atsumu serve. Oh, here we go. Atsumu serving. Match start. Oh, they got their pet band there. Yay! I'm sorry. I like the pet bands. Oh man, and it's, dude, it just got silent up in there. Dude, as soon as Atsumu just went, Atsumu just went like this. Whole audience is silent. Even the band stopped. What? What was that just now? So awesome. <laughs> I love you not. It's just like, this is fucking awesome. Atsumi, let's go. Um, Osamu, oh dear. Oh, here's the serve. Oh, shit. That serve was nice. And he got it like perfect. It almost went out of bounds. It almost did, but no. Nice, uh, nice serve, Atsumu. Nice serve, Atsumu. Let's go, go, Atsumu. Give us another. Um, Atsumu, Osamu, nice serve. Oi, your stances are way too stiff. It's not like a knife is going to come flying towards you, all right? Got it. Y yeah, they were kind of stiff there. And Nishinoya is in for right now. Hinata's not there. I, I, I'm i kind of surprised by that. Because, like, it, I thought that Nish um, Hinata was going to be the in. But it's Nishinoya first. So, I'm guessing... My guess is they're going to put Hinata in um, when Nishinoya is rotated to the front. That's my guess. Because um, that would make a lot of sense. Or like, or in, and Kageyama's in the back. Because Kageyama is setting the ball. But anyway. Huh. Uh, wow, he looked in our direction. Don't interrupt me when I'm serving, you noisy pigs. <gasps> what an ass! What an ass! Could this perhaps be about um, Ina High's serves? Um, 
when uh, they're serving, could you please keep it down? What? What's the big deal? People do this all the time on TV, last I checked. Um, here we go. Mia Atsumu serve. Uh, second serve. I think it's because it fucked up Atsumu's serve that when, when he heard the cheering. Oh, man. Oh, uh, out! Damn it! <laughs> Boo! Shut it! <laughs> this just booed him! <laughs> oh my god, I love this manga. My surface to uh, toss was a little bit off. So, we're tied at one, and Azumane's serving. Okay, Azumane, don't fuck this up, bro. Don't fuck this up. Azumane, just focus on this first serve. Boo! Oh my god. And, um... What? Are they booing us right now? Is that being directed at the server? They remain silent for their own team serve so the server can focus. Very similar to, um, like, say, uh, if you're a football fan, you'll, NFL football fan, you know what I'm talking about when I mention, like, CenturyLink Field or Arrowhead when, um, and this is usually with, with home field advantage, is when um, the team is playing on offense, they, uh, the home team is playing on offense, they're quiet. They don't want to fuck it up. But if, um, and I almost forgot Lambo, of course. And if uh, the team, if the home team is on defense, then they're going to cheer as loud as they fucking can to fuck up the offense. And it works. It goddamn works. But anyway. Um, yeah, and then they ha heckle and agitate their opponents during their servi uh, service. They really do go that extra mile for this. Lucky, next, next, my bad. In, hi, in a high, oh my gosh. The two schools have already begun jostling over their dominance of the flow of the game through their strong servers. Well, now, um, Habuko-san, for this current match right now, I suppose we should all be keeping a close eye on the player who is widely talked about as the number one setter, um, the number one high school setter, in Arazaki's uh, Mia, Mia Atsumu. Yes. So this is a battle of the setters. I said it before. It is. Yes, that is correct. Additionally, for this match, I also wish to pay particularly close attention to Karasano Center. Karasano High School's uh, Kagiyama Tobio also qualified as a youth um, team representative and is quite the promising young player. He didn't really stand out during his middle school tenure, however. I think he is definitely a player whose stock has been steadily on the rise. This is truly an East West um, Setter showdown. Yes, it is. East West set a showdown. Damn, I'm probably gonna call this that. <laughs> this video that I'm gonna title it East West Center Showdown. Showdown. I like that. Um, and here's a translation note. Uh, by by this, the commentator means um, to wait. Tohoku region northeast versus Kansai West uh, region showdown since um, Miyagi Prefecture is um, Tohoku and Hyogo Prefecture is Kan. <gasps> It's Kansai! Oh my god. We might get the Kansai accent. Why haven't we gotten the Kansai accent yet? Like, I have to wonder. But it explains why there's a black person there. Because um, if you've read Detective Conan, you know that um, uh, Hiji Atori is, from, Kan is the Kan from Kansai and he's darker t skin tone. And it's been mentioned in other manga as well that... Um, that usually Kanzains have a darker skin tone compared to like the rest of Japan. So I want to point that out. Oh, is that, that was a pretty sweet jump. Oh, shitty Nada. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nada, you fucked it up. <laughs> God, the look on everybody's faces is just amazing. I forgot to spike it, and that was a precious toss just for me, too. Ah, oh, what a total waste. If you can't do both at the same time, then don't don't bother doing it. <laughs> did he just say he forgot to spike the ball? Yes, he really did say that. Nada, no. That jump just now wasn't even close to the um, apex of his maximum. Wait. Um, it wasn't even close to the apex of his maximum jump? 
Are you saying he uh, just tried experimenting with something while, while facing us? The odds um, on favorites for this tournament? Well, that's what Hinata does. And here I was thinking uh, Tobio-kun was the type of guy who did as he pleased. But it seems this one here is also cut from the same cloth. Yes, that's my baby, Hinata. Uh, the second match finally kicks off next week. Cover plus center color. Oh my god. We are finally here, Nerdigans. We are finally at the showdown. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. Because after this match, if we win, oh man. The third round is going to be extremely interesting. But I can't wait to see. Like, I'm kind of disappointed that I didn't start off with a bang. Well, it started off with being fucking hilarious. But I really can't wait to see what Hinata and Kageyama do, especially. It's going to be interesting. But I can't wait to see on the other side um, the, the other type of serves that we're going to get as well. I'm very curious because remember in the first round we had that. Uh, we had the ceiling serve, which was really, really cool. And I hope we get a another cool serve similar to that uh, this round. Anyway, let me know your thoughts about this chapter in the comment section below. Are you guys excited because we're going to be getting Kanzai accent? The Kanzai attitude is there. It is there. I don't mean to stereotype, but from what I've re I've seen and read um, in manga, Kanzai's have an attitude. <laughs> they do. So I hope we get to see some of that, and I hope we get to, I get to read more Kanzai dialect. I love the Kanzai dialect. It's awesome. Anyway, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing, you want to contribute to the Nerdigans Inc. expansion, there's a few ways you can do that. You can donate to the Nerdigans Inc. PayPal, Patreon, or purchase something off the Nerdigans Inc. Amazon wish list. All those links are in the description box below. And make sure you follow me on the Twits, aka Twitter. Follow my Twitch channel, Inferno on PlayStation Network. Everything's in that description box below. And until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.